Hello, welcome everyone to the Bachelor Wellesley edition. Tonight we have our first tea party with our lovely Wellesley ladies and our douchebag Eric from Harvard University. Hello ladies. Not all Wellesley students identify as women. Right, okay. So I'm excited to be here. I've heard a lot about Wellesley and I'm desperate. I need a girl to be on my arm for the lampoon formal and she's gotta get there because I'm not taking your bus. Hi, Eric. I'm Wendy. It's so nice to meet you. A good handshake is the key to a great first impression. So tell me about yourself. I'm an econ major and a poli sci minor, and I've been playing the French horn since I was three, and I've been interested in Goldman Sachs this semester, and I'm taking six classes, one at Harvard, two at MIT, and I've been pre-accepted into law. I'd really love to win, but I'm really just here for the networking opportunity. So Wanda, tell me about yourself. What? Oh, sorry. I'm like super overwhelmed right now. This whole thing has just been like a lot. I'm here for the Brie and Herbal Tea and hanging out with Wynn. Catch me on WZLY at 7. I saw that clip of The Bachelor in Thailand where the women got together, and I was inspired. Maybe she's the one. And if not, there's so many others to choose from. Hey, how's it going? Either Wellesley goggles are real or he's really hot. Either way, I'm gonna do it. Well, Eric, tea time's over. It's time for the flower Sunday ceremony, and you know what happens next. It's been a long and hard process. <laughs> That's what she said. I'm gonna ghost all of you and text you randomly at 1 a.m. when I'm getting thirsty. <laughs> Welcome to Wellesley College Television's Riot TV. I'm Tavia Smith. And I'm Jocelyn Ramirez. There have been a number of thefts around campus, with reports of missing objects especially high in severance. Also reported missing? Justice. Also reported missing? My faith in humanity. Also reported missing? My pants. Wellesley Uncensored Confessions recently posted a fanfic describing an interaction between Professor Ken and arch rivals Dan Chasen and Thomas Cushman that really should have been censored. This is just further proof that exploring free speech is bad, and maybe Cushman will finally agree. Res Life applications were due this past Friday to hire new ASCs, RAs, and OMs. One position no one applied for, my SO. Teeing season has, once again, descended upon Wellesley. And here to give us a unique perspective is our first year correspondent. Hello, guys! If you're at all nervous about teeing season, don't be. I'm here to help. Well, what advice do you have for any first-time teers this tea season? Always remember my favorite acronym, T-E-A. T. -E -A. T. Tell lies. Maybe you can say that you rescued 17 cats last year, or that you're distantly related to Dr. Scholl. Just say something to make sure that you stand out, no matter how marginally. Hmm, that doesn't sound right. Where are you getting your information? Right up here. E. Exaggerate. This is a lot like tea, except for it allows the more upright tears to sort of work with the truth. If your uncle's a geologist, just go ahead and say that he's the rock. And A. Announce. Anytime you're in any room ever during teeing season, announce that you're teeing a society, just in case someone from that society is there, and then they know that you really care. Wow, um, I'm really regretting letting you back out here. And you should. And now, Averill on the street. Averill on the street, she's walking around, asking people questions. Hello! I'm going to be talking to people about their opinions on presidents, because I would love to punch Thomas Jefferson in the face. Wahoo wah! Do you have a favorite president? Oh my god, this is such a loaded question, I'm a history major. Lincoln, like 50% of everyone else does. Love that Gerald Ford was the accidental president. Oh, Jerry. The safest person to say is William Henry Harrison because he died after like 17 days, I think. He couldn't do anything problematic. He couldn't because he died. FDR. He was not a good dude, but out of all of them, he did get us through the Depression. Love Social Security. Oh my god, I love Social Security so much. If you could meet one president, who would you meet? Calvin Coolidge, Silent Cal, because he never talked to anyone, and so I would want him to talk to me. First one, George Washington, because they were dueling and stuff back then, so that'd be pretty cool. I would really like to meet JFK. Like, I know JFK did things, but in my mind, I just, like, I'm just like, ah, he did Marilyn. <laughs> How do you feel about uh, President's Day? 
I hate how the post office is closed. The post office should not be closed. But I like people having the day off. Yeah. President's Day is a terrible holiday. People knew presidents. Back to the studio. Recently, a man was found living in a North Carolina college student's closet and wearing her clothes. Obviously, this couldn't happen at Wellesley, because, I mean, come on. A walk-in closet? Earlier this month, a jogger in northern Colorado survived a cougar attack by suffocating the animal in self-defense. Meanwhile, the roaches in the tower court have stole my lunch money and taken over Hoko. Recently, I've noticed that media outlets really love pitting Meghan Markle and Kate Middleton against each other, with tons of headlines about fighting. I completely agree. I mean, why can't we just accept that two lovely, smart, fantastic women exist without tearing each other down? I know, I mean, right? It's insane I wasn't that... done talking. Well, maybe if you had something intelligent to say, I wouldn't have to interrupt you. Never mind. See? It's absurd! Thanks for watching Riot TV. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter and Instagram. And remember, and remember to look, look both, both ways before you cross the street. Hey, I'm Emily. I edit the stuff, and I'm really tired, man. Talking to myself in the stairway. Talking to myself because there's no one around. Talking to myself in the stairway. I'm so, so very tired. <sighs>